Hello everyone, how are we all doing today? So today I'm doing another part to my rebuild Willow Creek. So today, thank you so so much to S Shaw. I said that really wrong, I'm so sorry. S Shaw 101 for this shell. Really cool shell, I loved it. Thank you so much. Um definitely check her out on the gallery. I'll put her links down below. But yeah, really cool build. I loved this. I loved doing like A-frame, I never do A-frame builds, they terrify the hell out of me, but I thought, you know what, let's challenge ourselves today, let's go for it, <laughs> I'm really, really like tired, I'm so sorry, like I came in today and I looked on my computer and I thought, my god, I've put the video that was meant to be released today for the wrong date and I've got no idea how to change it, so we're dealing with this at the moment, we're dealing with the fact that, um, yeah, I had to just like quickly just bang out another video. So yeah, fun times. So I don't know when that video is going to be posted. I don't even know if it will be posted. I, I don't know what's going on. I really don't. I posted it in the past somehow. I, I don't know what I did. I'm really confused. I, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm just a bit baffled at the moment. I'm so sorry. But anyway, I'm glad that I did this build instead anyway because... I built it a little while ago and I, I kept getting busy and I kept getting distracted um, by doing like more Halloween -y builds and stuff and I didn't forget about it, I definitely didn't forget about it but it did kind of slip my mind a few times and then I eventually thought, you know what, I need to do this so yeah, I mean it was an amazing build, I'm really happy that I did it so no discredit to anyone or anything like that but I've been really really stressed recently <laughs> so um, yeah, it was definitely a lot more difficult um, I tried to do a bridge like I did last time with um, the little cottagey one that I did, I'll link that now, but the bridge would be really really difficult to do, I don't know what was the issue, it just wouldn't work properly, like I tried everything, it just it just wasn't going my way at all and it was just stressing me out, <laughs> so in the end I kind of like had to like delete half the house just for it to work, it was a kerfuffle, I think that's the only way I can describe it is a kerfuffle. Uh, someone on my last video, I can't remember who it was now, but on my last uh, Rebuild Willow Creek video said that they wanted me to do like a little um, montage at the end kind of thing, like a little tour of the house. I do do that, I do listen to you all, I really do. And I have done like a little thing at the end, it's only like a couple of minutes long. So if you want just like a brief overview of the house and you don't want to watch the whole speed build, then skip to about 10 minutes in. If, if that's what you want to do, I don't really mind, <laughs> um, but yeah, you can do that if you like. Um, it really excited me though, because in my last video I spoke about this as well, I've just found out about debug. I always knew about it, but I were always scared to use it, and this is the first build where I actually thought, you know what, I'm going to use debug, I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> I actually started this build like a little while ago. But then I got distracted because it was it was a really tough build to do. It was really difficult. It was all on one lev level and stuff. But I don't know what it was about it that made it so tough. And I was just like, mm. <laughs> you know, like, what do I do? <laughs> um, so I was stuck with it for like quite a while. But I love that. I love the challenging aspects of it. I spent a long time on this build, like a really long time. Um, and I just, I put like loads of leaves everywhere and stuff on the top of the balcony. The whole idea that is that it's a bit abandoned and then like a family took it over and they shut off the roof a bit because it's like what's the point just dumped a load of rubbish into the attic and then thought we can make a nice little family cottagey kind of home out of this so it is a family that moved in here and yeah it, i think it's a good storyline and if anyone else disagrees with me i, I don't care <laughs> it is my storyline i love it please leave me alone <laughs> um I actually used the cottage living chairs again. I don't like the cottage living chairs. I don't like them like the sofas. They're not very cottagey. I'm, I'm not being like stereotypical, not stereotypical. Why did I say stereotypical then? I'm not being mean, but why? Why does EA continue to give us stuff that doesn't really fit the vibe at all, does it really? Like, when I think, like my Nana's got a farm. Her sofas don't look like that. They look like normal leather sofas, not some fancy stuff. 
like why didn't they give us like yeah sure you can have that sofa but as well give us like a rundown kind of sofa that would have been so much better like i want a rundown sofa why can't i have a rundown sofa like it's a little bit worn um but it's cottage it, it, it it's nice they look like they belong more with the get famous pack i think i said this in my review of the pack when it first came out and stuff but it just it doesn't quite fit the vibe does it really it doesn't fit the vibe at all i don't like them I, i'm making that stance clear right now i do not like them <laughs> which sounds mean but yeah they're just they're just not the vibe really at all um i do like though i think it was fake gamer girl actually really good i'd suggest you watch her she's really cool um but she she kind of got me thinking because do you know how she puts clutter everywhere i thought that was cool so i decided to look up like how you can do it on console because if you don't know i am a console gamer i don't have pc and it is stressful but um yeah it's like mm, i <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling here um but yeah it worked apparently what you had to do is like hold like all the back buttons and then press the keypad it's a stress i really want pc i so want pc pc just looks so much better with like the mods the cc the the general gist of it you know like it, it just looks so cool and it's like why can't we have cc it's mean <laughs> i want cc <laughs> you know but at the same time i don't want to buy another game and then buy all the packs all over again because and then i have to buy a laptop as well and it's like it's just a stress isn't it so i think what i'm probably going to do is get one of the other games like i can get like one of the other sims games do you know what i mean like one two three yeah that's all of them isn't it yeah <laughs> i don't know why i tried to carry that on then but um like sims one two or three would be super cool to have and i'd probably just get cc on that because i think sims 4 is a bit of a lost cause really isn't she she's a bit out there let's just say i i don't i don't like the sims 4 i mean i like her but at the same time she could be so much better like i've never played any of the other sims games except like the sims mobile sims free play stuff like that and i just wish we had more like creativity in the sims 4 and i wish we had more storyline storyline mm yeah that's the bit that i miss i want storyline i want storyline in the sims 4 they said they were going to do it and they never did didn't they say that they were going to give like lore updates and like like npc updates and stuff and then they just didn't do it what was all that about was that just to get our hopes up like what i genuinely don't understand or was it like april fools <laughs> you know like what was it all about um it sounds like i'm crying but i'm not i'm not crying <laughs> but yeah um, I've had an obsession at the moment with like stacking stuff, like the pots in the kitchen. I decided to just stack a lot of them. I, it looks more realistic, I think. Like it looks like something I'd do is like just stack up a lot of pots. It looks like something everyone would do, not just me. I don't know why I said I do like I'm special or something, but it looks like something you'd see in a normal house. Definitely, I think. Anyway, <laughs> I I don't know, but <laughs> it looks more realistic to me um so what we've got in the house oh yeah my controller disconnected but um, what we've got is we've got um kitchen living room dining room bathroom hallway i've got two bathrooms two bathrooms two bathrooms hallway uh, master bedroom kids bedroom the master bedroom very very squished it's very squished <laughs> i don't know why i'm saying squished but if there was a word to describe it it would be squished um i was gonna make the kids bedroom into the master bedroom but then i thought you know what it doesn't really work um i really went crazy with creativity in this build like i put like a load of like um clothes across you know them like clothes you can get not the ones that came with dream home decorator but the ones that came with base game um i don't know them ones on the screen i don't know why i'm trying to like describe them but when they're actually just like on the screen but I decided to put like a load of them across so it looks like a curtain rail. I think that's quite cool. I, I think I did a good job there. I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm proud of myself for this build. I thought it went very well. But um, yeah, I'm coming to the end of my speaking bit now. Um, so over me is going to take over. Okay, so this is the house. Uh, this is the outside of it. 
really really cute i'm really happy with how this turned out um i'll also show you the back if this camera would move any faster <laughs> i've never really done anything like this i don't really do much of this stuff but because someone recommended it i'm definitely going to do it uh but this, this is the back um it's all kind of a pond area i just realized i didn't do that i will do that <laughs> soon <laughs> so uh let's go inside anyway oh my god where's the camera going okay so let's go into the house now oh yeah and all like the objects you can see and stuff like this stuff up here is all debug um i got it all from the debug menu just because it, it just makes it look a bit more lived in doesn't it okay so this is the living room um it, it's very nice <laughs> um i decided to put loads of clutter over there just because i thought it looked really cool um this is the bathroom again i just walked into the toilet um so yeah this is the bathroom okay and then we come over here this is the children's bedroom um we've got a little toy box i really like this wallpaper in here i really like it uh gave him a bunk bed and stuff um then over here we've got the dining room it's just open to the living room with just like a little arch which i think is cute in here we've got the kitchen very very cluttered but i love clutter so yeah <laughs> um and then if you go through here we've got this little hallway area not really much going on in here and here we've got another bathroom um which i like this bathroom this has to be my favorite bathroom um and then in here we've got a bedroom um i don't know why that's glitching out so much i don't know but um yeah you've got like a nice little coat hanger here nice little dresser again very cramped but <laughs> what are you gonna do okay and that is the whole house so thank you so so much for watching today if you like my content don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video bye